Good evening, Ivan. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I am good. Thank you. What about you? Oh, I'm a little tired, but I'm okay. Ready to start this class. That's nice. How many classes do you give each day? Well, I have given uh, eight hours. This is my ninth hour. And then I have another one later from nine to wow. 10. So it has been kind of tough, okay? But it's okay. How do you do with your throat? Um, I'm okay, you know. I feel a little more, you know. Uh, I, when I feel tired, I make more mistakes in pronunciation. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't feel like my throat is irritated. Uh -huh. But yes, uh, I get a little slower. Ah. Yeah. Your, your mind gets tired. And my mind gets tired, okay? I so see. probably that's how I'm going to sound on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I'm trying to catch up uh, with the with the sleep depth. Uh -huh. But uh I just came I wake up at five o'clock and I can't go back to sleep. I could go back to sleep until 6.10 or a quarter past six. But after five, it's kind of difficult for me to, to get back to sleep. And now you are fully online. Yeah. No, no. Uh, from eight to 12, I have presential classes. And also ah. from one to five. Uh -huh. Okay, but these classes are, are okay. Uh -huh. Your classes are okay too. Uh -huh. Because uh the ones that come come into the class want to participate, and that is very yeah, important. Yeah. And the, the presential ones are 45 minutes or an hour? No, they are four hours each. You have a strong throat. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. Well, the thing is, uh, for the last past, what, 15 years, we've been working like this, you know, almost mm. eight, nine, and now a little more, okay? Because a, a lot of people are are looking for teachers and and right now I don't have anything to do, so I just yeah. better do it. You're making some money in your free time. Yeah, I'm making a little money. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. And since uh, we don't have Christmas bonus, you know, and That's the, uh, yeah, so we have to to get all what we can when we can. <laughs> yeah that's but i like it you know i like it yeah yeah so what about you how is your job i work uh designing websites um, so you work from home right now basically yes i have to to look for the customers and see if they need something and I offer them my service. Ah, that's wonderful. That is very nice. Yeah. The thing is that if I don't look for customers, I don't have the, the money. Yeah. So you have to do a lot of marketing. Yeah. In Facebook, it's kind of good. You, you yeah. find some people there. So that's what that's how you advertise yourself. Most of it in Facebook. Yes, and one customer that is happy with me brings another customer. That is correct. That is a mouth to mouth. Yeah. Advertisement, the, the, which is the, the best. best. Marketing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why we should have our customers happy all the time. Exactly. Good evening, Alex. How are you tonight? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks. And you? I'm a little tired, but I'm okay. Ready to start this class. Okay. I'm, I'm tired too. 
Yeah, but uh, we have to make the effort because these are the last three classes, okay? Yeah. So we have tomorrow's class and Thursday class, and then we can relax, okay? Okay. So how is your job? How was your day at work? Busy, because it's my, it's my last week. Uh, on Friday, I will, have, um, I, I, wish, uh, I will have vacation. Oh, for... so you're going to be totally on vacation from the yeah. English class and from work. Mm -hmm. I'm going to travel to Washington, D.C. Really? Yeah. Okay, very good. Let's see what are you going to bring us. <laughs> <laughs> good evening, Guadalupe. How are you today? Well, she's still connecting the audio. Good evening, Guadalupe. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Ready, ready Sorry. to start this class. And you? What? Ready to start this class. And you? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, Sorry, yesterday, I don't know what happened uh, with my internet. So, in fact, right now I'm with my phone. I'm yeah. not using my computer. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, uh, one thing that I, uh, hello, Jordana. Good evening, how are you tonight? Good night, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. What about you? I am fine, a little tired, but you know, that's that's what happens when you get to the end of the race, okay? <laughs> and, and this race is ending on Thursday, okay? Oh yes, you're right, I'm so yeah. happy for that. So I was checking, I was checking the, the platform. Yes. And I can see that all of you have at least 80 or more in yours, in your, uh, in your uh, grades, okay? But if you could, could increase it, go back and try to fix it. And if you have a problem, just let me know, okay? For but sure. uh, the names that I have here that haven't finished, no one of you is right here, okay, in this group, okay? Okay. So we're gonna nice. go easily and uh, and let's let's try to learn more. Okay, now you remember that we saw, well, the ones that were with me last night, you remember that we saw this. Can you see it? Can you see it on the board, on the, on the screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, so uh, these are job profiles, okay? And remember that we have new vocabulary, which is bad temper, creative, critical, disorganized, efficient, forgetful, generous, hardworking, impatient, level-headed, moody, punctual, reliable, and strict. Okay, so last night we saw this vocabulary. Right, and which are uh, which are positive, which are negative, okay. And we also saw this, okay. You listen to the conversation, and then you check how was each one of these uh, people describing the conversations, okay. So we also saw this profile, job profiles. Listen carefully, okay. Listen carefully. Perspectives. Job profile. Part A. Listen to these people answer the question, what kind of work would you like to do? What job does each person talk about? Well, I think I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. When I was in college, I worked as a reporter for the school. Uh, really? I really enjoyed writing different kinds of articles. I know what I don't want to do. A lot of my friends work in the stock market, but I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. I don't mind working hard, 
but I'm terrible under pressure. I'm still in school. My parents want me to be a teacher, but I'm not sure yet. I guess I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I'm also very impatient, so maybe I shouldn't work with kids. Okay, do you have any questions? Page, page 67. Oh. Do you have any questions? Yes, I have one. Is um, let me see what I. So, um, a stock broker. A stock broker is a uh, agente de bolsa de valores. Ah, okay. Okay, and the stock market is la bolsa de valores. Mm. Okay, more questions? Okay, I want to say hello to Maria Jose. Hello, teacher. I want good to evening. Say, good evening. Welcome to the class. I want to say hello to Cindy. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Very good. How are you tonight? Very good. Okay, I want to say hello to Mario. Hello, teacher. How are, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. A little tired, but okay. You know, happy that after Thursday, we are going to finish the course. Not happy because I won't see you, but okay. happy that we are <laughs> going to rest. Maybe at least we we can go to bed early or earlier, let's say. Okay. Well, it can be possible, <laughs> but if you find a lot of traffic, that is, can be possible. <laughs> <laughs> Good like evening, today. Jose Antonio. How are you tonight? Good evening, fine, thank you. Thanks for asking you, teacher. I'm a little tired, but I'm okay. I'm willing to teach this class, okay? <laughs> with, with a lot of energy. <laughs> Yes, yes, of course, because today okay. I am a champion. I complete my my uh, activities in my in my in the company. Yeah, I saw that all of you, uh, except Maria Jose, that you have to do homework number five in the final. <laughs> I have checked. And bon appetit, Maria Jose. Bon appetit. Uh, enjoy <laughs> your food, no problem. <laughs> but Thank remember. You. If you could do that during, well, I don't know if you can do it tonight or during the day tomorrow. So uh, if you come across questions that you don't know how to uh, how to answer, we can help you. Is that clear? So go ahead. Uh, yes. You have to do homework number five and the final. Okay, is what you're missing. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, I saw Jose Antonio, I check you and everybody else is okay. Okay, so congratulations, okay? Very good. So now look, we are looking at these job profiles, okay? Job profiles, okay? And this is what I want to remark, okay? Because this is what we're gonna be working with tonight, okay? So you see here, when I want, uh, let me see uh, here, I think, I make a good journalist because I'm good at writing, okay? So this is using clauses with because. And because is the connector between one clause and the other one. Is that clear? Hello, yeah. is that clear? Yeah. Yes. yes, okay, now yes. here, on the other hand, we have right here, I could never be a stockbroker because I can make decisions quickly. So there we have also clauses connected with because. And at last we have, I guess I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. So you see, that's another way that we can make clauses using 
because. Okay? Now, do Thank you me. have any questions about this? No. No. Are you no. sure? Only teacher, only teacher, um, my station is in this word, writing uh, and at, at writing. Uh, we use at and the verb need to be adjourned. Uh, well, the rule, the grammatical rule says that after a preposition, we have to use a gerund. Ah, okay. For example, I'm interested in working in a school. Mm -hmm. I'm happy about traveling to Europe. Uh -huh. I'm, uh, I object to uh, listening to bad words. Is that clear? So you see yes. all of those have a preposition at the end. Mm -hmm. So okay. after a preposition, yeah, it must come a gerund, okay? Gerund. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So, okay, so let's move on to the grammar focus that we have here. Okay, clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. So when I use because, it's because I'm going to talk about a cause or a reason. I make a good, I make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. So that is the cause. I'm good at writing, that's why I make a good journalist. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. And that is the reason. Because I'm very creative, I could be a teacher. Now, I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. Okay, so that is the reason why some people wouldn't like or wouldn't want to be a teacher. Would you like to be a teacher? I could never be a stockbroker because I can make decisions quickly. Is that clear? Yes. Hello? Yes? yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay, very good. Now, look, complete the sentences in column A yeah, with appropriate information from column, column B. Then compare with a partner. Okay, so take a look. I'm going to do number one with you. I wouldn't want to be a nurse. I couldn't like because I don't like hospitals. Very good. So there you have it. Okay. Now, very good. The next one. I like to be a novelist because I love creating writing. Because I love creative writing. Okay, very good. Now, number three, read it complete, please. I could I never be an accountant, accountant because, because I'm terrible with numbers. numbers. Because I am terrible with numbers. Very good. And I could I will make a bad way because I have a terrible memory. Because I have a terrible memory, right? They order something. And I forget, and I bring something else. <laughs> Number five. I, I could be a fire attendant because, because, because I really, I really enjoy, traveling. enjoy traveling. Okay, very good. So repeat after me. I wouldn't want to be a nurse because I don't like hospitals. I wouldn't I want, to want to be a nurse because I don't like hospitals. I like to be a novelist because I really enjoy traveling. I, I like to be a novelist because I love I really enjoy traveling. Writing. No, I love to be a novelist because I love creating. I love creating. Writing. Writing. Yes. Writing. I could never be an accountant because I'm terrible with numbers. I, I could never, never be an, an accountant, accountant because, because I'm terrible, terrible with, numbers. with numbers. I will make a bad waiter because I have a terrible memory. I will I make will a, a bad waiter because I have a terrible memory. I could be a flight attendant because I like, I really enjoy traveling. 
Okay, questions? No questions. No. No. no okay. Yet. Now, I will give you five minutes so you can think I could never be, for example, I could never be a doctor because I don't like to see blood. Okay. I could okay. never be a doctor because if I see blood, I cannot eat in three days. That clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. I wouldn't mind working as a as a sailor because I like the ocean. Is that clear? Yes. Clear. Yeah. Okay. I make a good. Uh, let me see. I make a good counselor okay. because I like working with people. Are we clear? Yes. yes. Okay, so I will give you, well, one minute per each sentence. I will give you three minutes so you can make your own uh, clauses with because, okay? Okay. Make your own clauses with because, and then you are going to share them with me. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, three minutes. Your time is counting now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you finish? Yes. <laughs> yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. Okay. Okay, very good. Now, I'm going to start asking you, okay? Okay, uh, Karen, what is number one? Turn on your microphone, Karen. Um, I could never be a doctor because I don't like the hospital. Because you don't like the hospitals. Okay, very good. Jose Antonio, number two. Uh, I wouldn't mind working as a mechanic because I like the mechanic. I like to fix the car. You like fixing cars. Okay, very good. Mario Marenko, number three. I make a good, I don't know. <laughs> a good painter. <laughs> I make a good painter because I love paint. Houses. Because you like colors. <laughs> okay. Okay, Eleonora, number one. Yes, teacher. Um, 
I could never be a teacher because I have patience with child. Because I am impatient. I am impatient. Impatient, excuse me. Impatient, uh -huh. impatient with children. Sa children. Uh -huh. Yeah, child is singular. Children Ch is plural. It's plural. Okay. Okay, Thank very you. good. Let's see. I, Ivan, number two. A psychologist because I'm good at hearing people's problems. Okay, I wouldn't mind working as a psychologist because I like hearing people's problems. Alex Rodriguez, number three. I make a good soccer player because I play very well. Oh, very good. Guadalupe, number one. I could, <clears throat> sorry, I could never be a saleswoman. Is that correct? Saleswoman, saleswoman. Saleswoman. Women, because I don't, I don't have passion. I don't have patience. Patience. Okay. Yeah. Num the next one, number two. Guille, uh -huh. Guille, are you there? Number two. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I wouldn't mind working uh, as a salesman because I'm, I am good at, good at selling products. Okay, very good. Cindy, number three. You make a good uh, chef because I love cooking. Okay, that is correct. Very good. Eleonora, number one. Um, I could never be a flight attendant because I... Um, I know I am not travel. Okay, or I am afraid to fly. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm very good. Maria Ernestina, number two. To fly. Turn on your microphone, Maria Ernestina. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. It's okay, number two. I wouldn't mind working as a nurse because I don't like a hospital. No, I wouldn't mind as no me importaría. Yes, no me importaría trabajar. Uh -huh. ah, okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh. Because I like them, a hospital. Because I like sick people. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Maria Jose. Okay. I made a good teacher because I love uh, I love teach. <laughs> I, I love, love to teach. I love to teach. Okay, yes. Jordana, number one. Okay, I could never be a lawyer in this country because most of suspects are okay. guilty. Very good, very good, Alexandra, number two. Um, I wouldn't mind working as a chef because I like to cook. You like to cook. Okay, very good. Now, I would like you to go to the workbook. And this is on page, let me see, page 57. Jobs on the internet. Have you ever looked for a job on the internet? What jobs have you seen advertised? Read these job ads and match the job titles in the box with the ads below. Okay, so these are the job ads. So I want you to read, well, listen. Are you hardworking? Do you enjoy using computers? Do you like learning about world news? This job is for you. Must be good at working under pressure. Some evening and weekend work. Which job do you think is this? Journalist. Fly attendant. This a job ad is for a fly attendant, for a stockbroker, for a journalist, or a truck driver. Journalist. 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 It is for a journalist, right? Do you like working with computers? 
Do you like working? Do you like using computers? Uh, do you like learning about war news? So this job is for you. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, let's go to the next one, okay? Number two, must be well-organized, energetic, able to make decisions quickly, and good with numbers. Applicants must be level-headed and able to take responsibility for handling other people's money. No weekend work, but some evening work required. So this job ad is for? For the broker. For a stock broker, stock broker right? Stock broker. Why? Because you say that you have to make decisions quickly and good with numbers, okay? Right. And you have to take responsibility for handling other people's money. Okay, very good, excellent. Now, let's go to the next one. No previous experience necessary, but applicant must have a special license. Successful applicant will also be punctual and reliable. Excellent position for someone who enjoys traveling. So this job ad is for? Flight attendant. Truck, truck driver. A truck driver. <laughs> yeah, but you need a special license, <laughs> yeah. right? License, so in this case, you is for a? Uh, truck driver. Truck driver, truck driver, truck driver. Right? Not a flight attendant. For a flight attendant, you don't need a license, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Except the pilot. <laughs> okay, now, are you good at communicating with people and solving problems? Can you speak at least two foreign languages? Do you enjoy traveling abroad? Then this job might be for you. So this is for? Fly attendant. Fly attendant, <laughs> definitely. Fly attendant. Okay. Now, what job will be the best for you? The worst. Number then from? The best, one for the best and four for the worst and give reasons, okay? Using because, is that clear? Okay, yeah. now list your special experience, preferences or personal traits. Now, this exercise, I want you to do it with in pairs, okay? So you're gonna tell your partner, which is the best job for you and which is the worst. And you are going to write why using because, okay? And then now you're gonna use number one, the best. Number two, the second best. Number three, the, the third best. And the four is the worst. Is that clear? In pairs. So I want you to take a picture because you're gonna work in pairs. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Now, if you have the book, you don't have to take the picture, but if you don't have the book, please take a picture quickly. Okay, teacher. Do you have it? Yes. Everybody? Yes. Yes? Yep. Let me ask everybody, do you have the, the exercise? Yes, teacher. Yes. Can I break you into groups now? Yes, you can. Yes. Yes, sir, if you want. yes. Okay, here we go. Very good. So I'm going to make seven groups. Excuse me, what is the page of the... 50, of the wait. Seven. Let me 57. share it with you again. I think it's page 57. 57. It's Thank right you. there, page 57. Can you see it? Okay, yes. so very good. Let me break you yes. into groups then, okay? So let me see. Let me count you again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so one group is going to have a three, a three members. Okay, here we go. Ivan, Jordana, and Maria Ernestina go to room number one. Alex and Jose Antonio go to room number two. Karen and Maria Jose go to room number three. Eleonora and Guadalupe go to room number four.
Alexandra Rodriguez and Mario Marenko go to room number five. And Cindy and Guille go to room number six. Karen, you go to room number three with Maria Jose. Eleonora, very good. Alexandra, room number five. Mario, room number five, please. Guille, room number five, please. Room number six, please. Okay. Okay, very good. Because, because I love we love travel. Okay, because I love traveling. Really? Travel. Tra 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 All travel. over the world. Or traveling. I don't know. <laughs> because travel. I love. Now you because have I to travel. You do, you have to correct because. Ah uh, yes. This a go uh -huh, okay because ah. Uh, because I love, I love, I love travel, traveling. Okay, now you can say I love to travel or I love traveling. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so here I would like or I want to be a flight attendant. I would like. I would like to be a flight attendant. Okay, you because. have to separate that to be. You have to separate to be a uh, fly attendant because I love traveling. Okay, very good. Number two. Very good. Number good job. Two. Thank okay. you, teacher. Okay, very good. Go to the next one. Okay, I'm going to go to another group. Okay. 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 See you. I could never be. Oh, I don't. Uh -huh. I don't. <laughs> Don't mind. I don't mind. I don't uh, mind. Uh, because I, I think uh, the the work is very interesting. Okay, and hello, the, girls. I'm gonna hello, share teacher. my screen. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so what do you what do you have? Let me see. Guadalupe. Yes. What is the the best job for you? Uh, I make a good I may I make a good fly attendant because I like to fly, I like to travel and I speak a uh, French. Oh, you speak French. Uh, <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> hey. Good, Guadalupe. Okay. Parlez-vous, parlez-vous, François? Ah. Bárbaro, teacher. Je parle français. 
<laughs> I only know about four phrases. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, now Eleonora, what about you? Uh, for me and the the job, the number one uh, fly attendant because I I love the travel teacher. You love like to it. travel too. Yes. And, yes, and how many I'm languages can you speak? <laughs> <laughs> well, no word, no words. <laughs> hey, one and a half, one and a half, no problem, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, very good. I'm going to go to another room, okay? Good okay. work, keep practicing, please. Thank you, teacher. Okay. 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 Um, the, the, la, the second for me uh, could be, I uh, could be a good journalist, journalist. because journalist because so write, writing news okay hi guys i'm gonna share my screen okay okay let me see ah right here okay so what is the worst job for you, uh, Cindy? Uh, it is journalist. Uh -huh. And the reason? Oh, it's because um, I'm no good reader, and I think that's job um, need to be a really good reader and writing and speaking public. And uh, I'm a little bit shy to speak in public and investigate many things. Okay, very good. Guille, what is the worst job for you? I said journalist too. Why? Uh, because uh, as my classmate said, uh, and I shared that opinion, I don't like uh, speaking in public. Uh, Sometimes I... I I feel I don't, I don't know how, how, I'm not good at writing something new or writing news, okay? And journalist for me is the worst job that I will take, teacher. Okay, excellent, very good. Now, uh, okay. keep on practicing, okay? I'm gonna bring you back and I'm gonna give you one minute. Okay, guys, do you have a good practice? Yes. Yes, very good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, in a half a minute, the other ones are coming back. Okay? Okay. In half a minute. Teacher, okay. can you help me? Yeah, sure. What do you need? Uh, I need uh, this part of the model two. Model two is an is a color word, right? Uh huh. Let me let me see let me see let me see. I am back, teacher. Okay, Mario, very good. So, what do you need me to do? Let me let me let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Uh, I don't work. No, okay. Uh, this part. Let me let me see. give me one second. I don't know what happened with the platform. Okay, no problem. Whenever you're ready, you let me know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we have grown up. Okay, now, very good. Let's keep on working. Now, here we have more exercises, okay? So here, read what these people say about themselves. Which job should they do? Which job should they avoid? Write sentences using the phrases given and because. For example, is any questions about the instructions? So you have to say which job should they do using because. And also you have to say which job they should avoid using because to. Are we clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's read about Jim. 
I enjoy helping people, but I can't stand working nights and weekends. I want to be a nurse or a social worker. So what is the advice? Jean will probably make a good social worker because he enjoys helping people. Is that clear? He yeah, could yeah. never be a nurse because he can't stand working nights and weekends. I think, Jim, you have to work long hours to be a nurse. Is that clear? Yes. 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 Okay, now let's go. Let's see about Anita. I really like doing things with my hands. I also enjoy working with wood. I don't enjoy working in the same place every day. And I hate being in noisy places. I think I like to be a factory worker or a carpenter. So what do you recommend? You have to use could and couldn't. Remember, she enjoys working with wood. So what job would you recommend? And she said that maybe she would like to be a factory worker, but she hates being in noisy places. Okay? So in pairs, you will recommend what she should do and why, and what she shouldn't do and why. Or what job she should take and why, and what job she shouldn't take and why. Let's see about Maria. I'm really interested in meeting people and I enjoy wearing different clothes every day. I'm not so good at organizing my time and I can't stand computers. I might become a model or an accountant. So what do you recommend for her and why? Why she should do? Or what job she should take and what job she shouldn't do. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, teacher. now let's go to Larry. I'm really good at selling things. I also love helping people. But I'm not so good at solving problems. I think I like to be a salesperson or a detective. So what job? Do you recommend what job could he be doing and what job he wouldn't make good at? Is that clear? What do you yeah. have to do? Okay, and this is on page 58, okay? Page 58. Unfortunately, this is big, so you have to, okay, at least you can take a picture. If you don't have the workbook, you can take a picture of this too. Did you take a picture? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, now, very good. Did you take a picture of this one? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Are you ready? I'm going to break yes. you in pairs. So you can talk about these people, what job they should take and what job they shouldn't take. Is that clear? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. So I'm going to break you into groups now. Uh, create again now maybe let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh oh some people have disappeared yes okay so i'm I gonna think... make six groups okay there you go room number one cindy and jordana room number two Karen and Maria Jose. Okay. Room number three, Alex and Alexandra. Room number four, Eleonora and Guille. Room number five, Guadalupe and Ivan. Group number six, Jose Antonio and Maria Ernestina. Okay, go ahead, guys. Eleonora, room number four. Guillen, room number four, too. Very good. Excellent. Maria Ernestina, room number six. No me aparece la pantalla para entrar a la... 
and the room number six. Okay, I'm gonna move you, but don't get in. I'm gonna move you to another room and then I'm gonna bring you back to room number six. When you okay. get to room number six, then you click on it, okay? Okay. 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 Right Thank now you. you are in room number five, but don't click on that. Now, are you in room number six, Maria Ernestina? Okay, there you go. Uh oh. Room number six, Ernestina. Turn on your microphone. I can hear you. Excuse me. Do you have uh, the option five. to go to room number six? Okay. Go to I room don't, number I six. Room number, number six. Oh. Okay. No puedo entrar, teacher. Okay, I'm going to move you again to room number five, but don't enter. Don't okay. enter to room number five, okay? Okay. okay? You are in room number five now. I'm going to bring you back. Ah. Okay. Uh, okay. Go to room number five, Ernestina. Go to room number Thank five.
Okay, I'm sorry that I have to move some people to room number five. So you have to share with four people, okay? We had a party. You had a party, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, here, one more exercise to do. Here, exercise number eight, add a or an in the correct places. So Jerry could never be a nurse. So we need a writer. A nurse or? Teacher. Jerry could never be a nurse or? Teacher. teacher. Or a teacher. So here teacher. we're supposed to write a teacher. Teacher. Oh, yes, right. Okay, because yeah. he is very bad tempered and impatient with people. Right. On the other hand, he is efficient and a reliable he is person. Right here. What uh, do we need? Uh, an. 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 Right? We need an. He is an efficient. efficient. He is an efficient and reliable, reliable person. So he will make a good, a a good, good bookkeeper, bookkeeper or Account. Uh, account. Uh, account. Very good. Now, Christine. Christine will make a terrible, a terrible, a terrible lawyer. lawyer or executive. Uh, executive. Or an executive. Okay. Or she is good at making decisions. On the other On hand. On the other hand, she'll. She make an excellent, excellent, an excellent actress, actress, artist, artist, because she is very, very creative and funny. Funny. Okay. Very good. Now here, opposites. Write the opposites. Use the words in the box. Efficient. What is the opposite? Disorganized. Disorganized. Disorganized, okay? Disorganized. Okay, very good. Now, the next one. Friendly? Unfriendly. 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 Okay, very good. Unfriendly. The next one. Hardworking? Lazy. Lazy. Excellent. Lazy. Now, Play. the next one, uh, interesting? Boring. 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 Boring, very good, excellent work. Okay, the next one, level-headed? Uh, go out, mm -hmm. going out, <laughs> or moody? Moody. It will be? Moody. 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 Some people told me yesterday that this is uh, bipolar, bipolar. <laughs> okay, so this is moody. And patient? Uh, okay. Patient? Patient. 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 Very good. Next, quiet. Outgoing. Outgoing. Very good. Outgoing. And reliable. Forgetful. 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 That is correct. Okay, guys. Very good. Thank you for your time. Okay. Thank Remember, you. Remember, we have classes tomorrow. We will finish the unit. Go to the platform. You are able to do everything on the platform. Yes, you have any questions? We'll check tomorrow. Okay. 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 Thank so you. I wish you a very good night. Rest, work on the platform for the ones that still have some material to cover. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Yes. okay. Thank you. Very good, Thank you. guys. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. 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 And good night. Bye. 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 Bye.